Yes, guys. Good evening to all. I'm here again at Jack in the Box Gully in St. Thomas once again, which is in the center of the island. I'm here in St. Thomas, which is in the center of the island. St. Thomas and St. George are the two parishes here in Barbados in the center of the island. And they are best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados. And there is no sea nor coast link in these parishes. These are the two landlocked parishes here in Barbados, best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados. St. Thomas and St. George have no sea in them. So this is the section of Jack in the Box, the road of Jack in the Box Gully, if you are coming from Prout Village. This is over here, this is Prout Village. And you can see the chimney for the former Applewitz Plantation and Sugar Factory, which later became the West Indies Records Limited, WIRL. And thanks to Member of Parliament for St. Thomas, Cynthia Ford for having the road paved so that motorists can have an easy flow to the gully, to Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box is, can also be a dangerous place, but people still travel through it to get to their destinations faster. But Jack in the Box. I heard of stories about Jack in the Box. People used to kidnap you and throw you in the gully. And when your family can't find you, they will find you down in Jack in the Box gully. Um, and people used to kill you and throw you in the gully and so on. I don't know how true, it, how true of story that is. But. But. Um, Yeah, Jack in the Box. People used to also throw dead, dead animals. And also they used to throw um, beds or beds or fridges and so on in the gully. The gully is further, but I will not be going up there right now. This road can also lead to Harrison Skiff and Rachmahal Gully as well. We're going to lead to Harrison's Cave and Welsh Mahal Gully, which is just up the road here. So the other end to Jack in the Box would be to from um, well, Ashford site. So this is the beautiful rustic countryside here in Barbados. Another quiet place here in Barbados. In the rustic, beautiful countryside. Here is an area that I would say you could hear a pin drop. So I visited all the um, 
quiet areas for the week. Quiet areas, looking away from the hustle and bustle of the city life. World Cup Cricket 2024 is coming to Barbados and they are trying to get all the roads, most of the roads in Barbados paved, especially the roads that the people from the World Cup that come in for World Cup will be traveling. So in town, uh, the roads to the airport, other roads in Barbados, they are trying to pave. Yes, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Do have a blessed evening. And stay tuned for more videos of Barbados. Yeah, yeah.